I'm honored, Ray asked me to accept this recognition on his behalf. I talked with Ray and Carmen last night for quite a while. He lives in Allen, Texas. Ray's been dealing with an illness now for over 17 years. And he's not able to, get, to come out and to accept this award. And he told me, he says, my nickname is Chili. He said, Chili, Come from the heart. Just do that for me. Because I blocked for Ray. And Ray was a good friend. As was said before by the others, he was a person that people gravitate toward. I remember when Danny Colbert and Urban Garnett and Ray came from TCU. And we all were talking. Ray was a leader. And we had such a good time together. He messed with the, the uh, players who were here. And he was a type of person that you could relate to. In fact, I won't go over his accolades because his accolades are, you know, being NFL coach of the year, assistant coach of the year in, in his career, and coaching over 30 years in the NFL. But Ray was a coach when he was a player. I remember when I was uh, coming up and Ray would take me out to the stadium, to the field, and tie me in the 40. He wanted me to get down to a 4 7 40 and would tie me and, and push me. You gotta do better, you have to do better. Ray was also a person that uh, some people may remember in here. We played uh, TCU his senior year. And Ray wanted to beat TCU so bad. And we lost the game here in Tulsa. And it's, Ray gave a speech after the game and chewed us all out. And from that point, we won almost every game after that. Of that chewing out he gave us. That's the type of person Ray was. And so he was someone who set the example, someone who was, be able, he's able to change. Ray could have easily stayed as a running back, but he decided on his own to change to a wide receiver and then a defensive back because he knew what he wanted to do. Ray played in the NFL. I, I remember when Ray was with the Giants. Uh, I drove down from Tulsa. He was living in Dallas in all season. He says, man, New York's the expensive place to live. That's what you mean. He said, rents are high there. And so we and Carmen and my wife and I, we went to, uh, to see the exorcist. And at that time, this was in, <laughs> at that time, it was long lines to see this movie. And we, it, it, we had a good time at the movie. And he still remembered that. I talked to him about it last night, us going to see the movie. But I want to recognize Ray for who he is as a person. He's a good man and a father. He and Carmen been married over, over 50 years now. He has four daughters, Deetra, Kandra, Tanisha, and Raven. He has nine grandchildren. He's a happy man. On May 7th of last year, he was inducted to the Texas High School uh, Football Hall of Fame. He was an all-state football player at Mejia, Texas High School. And also he uh, ran track and played basketball. He was a great, he is a great, great athlete. He's doing well, his mind's still sharp, and he told me, tell them I love my time at the University of Tulsa. He wanted to convey that to you. And I'm honored to accept this on his behalf, and we plan, my wife and I, Sandra, plan to stop by and visit with him tomorrow on the way back to Dallas and stopping in Allen and providing him with the recognition. And we're honored to recognize Ray for all he's done for the University of Tulsa, for the NFL, and, and his legacy will live on forever. Thank you. <laughs> 